All right, hey. Um, so last time we left off, we were uh, creating the uh, the J labels. So uh, we created the instruction and then the coin. And then um, the next thing to do is uh, uh, to create the uh, the button. Um, so we'd say pull uh, equals new J button. And then um, you just can tell it's something simple, like a uh, pull slot. So, uh, okay, so then um, I'm going to get into this in a little bit, what I'm doing here. But uh, I'm going to add an action listener. Uh, in case you don't know what that is, that um, without this, the button that we just created uh, is, is useless. So um, I'll show you specifically what I mean by uh, that in uh, a little bit. Like um, uh, this uh, this action listener, we we have to create a, a whole new uh, set of code for that later on. But um, because without that code, we can't. Uh, it doesn't know what to do. It's like a it'd be like clicking a phone on your button, but the f the button isn't you know set up to anything, so it doesn't know what to do. It would just sit there. So, but I'll get to that in a little bit, what we're going to do with that. So, um, then, uh, we have to create the, uh, the J labels. I'm going to put a space there just so we can see. Um, create the different J labels for the, the different, uh, number labels. So, um, J label. And then, uh, we're just going to set the, uh, there's no text. And that this is going to be a random one. And then there's gonna be a new J label. I can't spell label right. And um, we're gonna do that same idea where it's just gonna be the blank and then the the random two. And uh, this is gonna be the exact same thing because you know it's. Personally, I think J labels are the easiest part of uh, the whole uh, user interface. Um, however, uh, we when I uh, in the the context of everything, it doesn't really matter that you do this next step. But personally, I think you should, because um, we're what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set the uh, set the font. Uh, to uh, to make it uh, different so you can notice uh, exactly what numbers you're looking at and um, so they'll pop more and um, so you know I mean that by that you'll see it better so um, we'll just set it to Helvetica and then um, we'll set the, uh, the font to bold so uh, you know and then uh, just to really make it snazzy we'll set everything to uh, the it's so, uh, 40 text, then set the, that to uh, for the size, and then um, you know we're gonna do this for uh, uh for all of them so that they're all in a uniform uh font. So we've done that, and then now we're just gonna make a, a few last couple of J labels. Uh, just a few more to create. Uh, th there's the number of doubles. Uh, and then the number of triples, and then lastly, I'm sorry, I just I know you can leave it like that where the equal sign is right up next to it, but I I, I can't I it I wouldn't say it it I just don't like looking at it. It's not it's I don't know. And then uh, the last one is the uh, the number of uh, the the number of pulls panel or a uh, label label. I'm sorry, not panel. And um. So for this one, we'll say uh, the new J label, and then um, uh, the number should you uh just uh the number of doubles I guess would be the best one. So just a uh, number of doubles, and then just um tell you know what the uh the amount of doubles there are, and the new J label. And then the same thing, you just uh, and the number of uh, triples though. And 
and then uh, the last one is the the number of pulls label label and um so for that one we're gonna say uh, we're gonna tell the user that uh, you have uh, pulled the lever and then um we'll say uh, what is it? Uh, is it number of poles? Uh, huh, I'm trying to blank. Yeah, number of poles. Uh, lover, uh, times. And so, um, so not, so all the, uh, the J labels are created, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy and delete that real quick, make sure everything is spelled right, so. Uh, there's a period in there. Oh no, there's uh, that was the problem. And then um, let's see what's wrong here. Oh, there's no uh, plus sign at the end. Okay, everything should be okay now. Apparently not. Number of poles label. Uh, let's see. What did we set it to? Oh, I don't want to do that because I still got that. Oh, that O wasn't capitalized in of. Okay, uh, so hopefully that's the last syntax error. Okay, so um, so everything compiles. So I'll put slap back in there real quick. And then um, so now we have to uh create the labels, or I um, mean you know, uh display them. So if you when you create all of them, it doesn't matter uh. In what order you make them, as uh, as long as they get made, it, you could uh, you could do anything. You could uh, make them in any order; it doesn't matter. But um, when it comes down to displaying them, you need to uh, you you have to put them in the order in which you want them to be displayed. So uh, so um, when I was uh, thinking about it earlier. Uh, the order that I'm doing it in now, so the, with the starting of the instruction, and then going down to th uh, the coin and the poll and the the randoms, and then um, the the number doubles, and then followed up by the uh, number of triples, and then the number of pulls. It was uh, I thought that was the um, the best way to display uh, the information. It just seems the most logical. Because it uh it's kind of it flows the best I think. So um now we have all of our labels made and or uh made and uh set. So now the last thing to do is uh set our uh, size of our frame and um set preferred size. Uh and and just from uh running this before uh I know that the uh. The, the appropriate size is 300 by 150 and um see that compiles real quick oh that's still in there I'm sorry okay yeah so um all that's so right so far and so the one 300 by 150 will make a a, a good sized box that will hold everything nicely and uh even if it you know if you by Chance and want to make this, and um, you can set it to whatever the hell you want. But um, I, I found that that uh, 300 by 150 comes out the best. So um, so now everything's made, and um, so now our primary box is uh, or our frame is created. So uh, let me get rid of this so so quick so we can compile it, and I'll show you what we've made so far. So compile the rest of this, and so um. In case you're using BlueJ and you don't, uh, you know how do you right click and void main. So um, this is what we made. Oh, I didn't add something, did I? What didn't get added? Oh, oh, I said uh doubles a couple times, triples, and then um number of pulls. God, how did I do that? I don't even remember doing that. It's weird. Okay, so let's exit this, recompile this. Okay, 
So, um, this doesn't look right for some reason. You have a, uh, oh, hold on, I forgot, uh, I think that'll do it. Let's see, you have, uh, you have coins. Let's see if that redoes it, because, uh, when I first did it, 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 um, it looked really nice. So, uh, let's see if, there we go, this is exactly what I had. So, looking at this, you can see. Actually, you know what? I think I'm almost out of time on this one. So uh, come back to the next video, and we'll finish that up real quick. All right, thanks.